What's up guys here live with 2021 Donner's Baseball. Eight box blaster. We do still have uh do still have five teams available. The Reds, Rockies, Royals, Indians, and Athletics. Fifteen dollars for all, if anyone wants them. Chance at some Bobby Witt with the with the Royals, Poussin with the uh, Athletics. So I'll give it one minute. And then we'll get off and going. So five teams still available for people just hopping in. Fifteen dollars for the five Reds, Rockies, Royals, Athletics, and Indians. We'll give it just one minute here. Still five teams available, if anyone wants. Um, there's a post with those, and then $15 for the five if anyone wants them. I'm going to get go ahead and rip in this first box here. So those will stay available until I get going. And good luck. Appreciate everyone buying in. I know there's relics in here, and I don't have top loaders for relics right by me, so I'll top load them after the break. If we hit any. Likely will. We did two six boxes the last two weeks, so we got two in each of those, so more than likely two or three. What's up, Adam? Just getting started. Bowman ran a little late, so... Alright, good luck. Box one. With Merrifield, Sammy Sosa Unleashed, Anthony Rizzo Diamond Kings, Troy Gloss, Luke Voigt Elite Series. Jazz Chisholm, ready to rookie. Speak of someone who's, who's killing it lately. Jazz Chisholm. Livestream, Luis Robert. 
Nice looking card. Jim Tomey, purple foil. These are cool. Nice looking card. Raphael Devers. Tatis purple foil. Juan Soto highlights. Mariano Rivera. Boba Shet purple foil. So Bichette Stars, Babe Ruth Unleashed, Wilmer Flores Purple Foil, and Clark Schmidt Rated Rookie. Rest of box one here. Will Myers, Mike Trout. It's the short print there. Jesus Lazardo trending. Sam Huff purple foil. Stevenson and Josh Donaldson. Yeah, Adam, the Unleashed are sweet. I mean, they look, they did a generally good job with Donruss this year compared to past years. Generally, they do a good job, but there's some years where people just can't stay in the inserts and the base look horrible or names are too small. Or this year, they seem to do a pretty good job. A lot of parallels, a lot of, a lot of different foils, a lot of inserts, a lot of cards overall, so... I think people have started to, uh, I mean, when you can get a hold of a cheaper product like this, with how the market is right now, I mean, it's, it's the cheapest thing to buy, unless you're buying singles, but even, I mean, singles of base rookies, even out of this, I mean, it used to be worthless, and now, you see, even if you look at, like, Tatis, Unlicensed uh, Panini rookies. They're like, depending on the card, the numbered stuff goes for nice money. Like Juan Soto 2018 silvers or hollows, whatever you want to call them. They go for like 300, 350 bucks, depending on, obviously, depending on the card, but some of the Panini baseball stuff has just gone crazy. So, it's a crazy market. People pay crazy prices for cards that they want. Don't some lamets. It's Trevor Story. That's out of 15. Rockies there. There's another Trevor Story. William Hendricks. Trevor Bauer. Vladdy. Frank Thomas Unleashed. Josh Hader, Clayton Kershaw. Dallas Keuchel, purple foil. Tijila <laughs> Mayu highlights. Shane Bieber, purple foil. Top of that out of 15. Nice card. Wouldn't say that's Hulk worthy really quite yet. Brad Hand. Ken Griffey Jr. stars. Carlos Carrasco. Boba Shet unleashed. About that, Sixto Sanchez signature series. Uh, I guess you could call this a rookie autograph. Miami Marlins, there, nice card. Put 
that up and Hulk. Nice, nice hit. Front of the Marlins. Charlie Blackman Dominators. Reese Hoskins. Anthony Rizzo Purple Foil. Rest of box two here. Shane Bieber, Christian Yelich Unleashed, Ian Anderson, Purple Foil, Chris Paddock, Trevor Story, Ken Griffey Jr., and Wim Merrifield. Alright. Box 3. Box 2 was solid compared to Box 1. Auto and a out of 15. Can't complain. Looks like there's a relic in there, so I'll have to sleeve and topple that one after the break. I didn't. I forgot to grab thicker sleeves slash top loaders. Rookie mistake. Three, good luck. Jose Ramirez, Kirloff out of 2021. Trout Unleash, Brady Singer Purple. Trout Livestream, Nick Ahmed. Starling Marte stars. Kirloff debut. Altsuve purple foil. This drives me crazy that they put every card every which way. Trevor Bauer, purple. Leody Tavares. Judge Diamond Kings, Rated Prospect Christian Robinson, Ricky Henderson, 1,406 career seals. One I won't ever break that. Dylan Carlson, the rookies. Nolan Ryan, purple. I don't know, I wouldn't say anyone would, but you never know. There's our relic, Ramon Laureano. Get that sleeve and top loaded after the break. I don't have a. Maybe I'll just go grab one in a minute. That's box three there. It's not too bad of a box. Kirloff is nice. I mean, even if, um, like we were saying, I mean, if Kirloff comes out to be a big name guy and lives up to the potential that he's shown in the minor leagues, I could be a big card, even though it's unlicensed Panini. You never know. Halfway box here. Ah.
there's like another relic in there, yep. Shoot. Alright, I better go grab top letters real quick. Alright, give me one sec. Here's the Ramon Laureano, Ramon Laureano, however you want to pronounce it. It's from the last box. Here's box four. Good luck. Is a Abreu? Joy Bart. Relic here. You Darvish to the Cubs. There you go. There you go, Adam. There's a cub for you. Not a current cub, but it's a cub. Colton Wong purple. Raphael Devers unleashed. Man, another guy who's playing out of his mind so far. Raphael Devers. His stuff is still so cheap, too. Nice investment if you... I mean, PSA 10. Some of his PSA 10s you can get for like 60 bucks. Trent Grisham. Those are the little Statue of Liberties. Ian Happ. Nicholas Castellanos. Joe Adele rated rookie. Chris Bryant unleashed. Christian Javier purple. I know, I'm a Cubs fan too, Adam. I miss him. Zach Davies has definitely not lived up to the potential. At least of how he pitched last season, I mean. Sucks because he was he was pretty good with San Diego, so. Yeah, I mean, he pitched good tonight, but. I mean, as of recently, he's pitched well, but. Outside of that, I mean, it's just. Awful. It's just. I mean, 93 mile an hour fastballs or sliders right down the zone. Can't really expect anything other than a bunch of home runs. But he's been fantastic with San Diego, so it's good to see. I mean, it sucks to see him off the Cubs, but makes it even worse that we didn't get anyone that we'll see in the next four years outside of Davies, who's a free agent after this season. I mean, all those other guys are 17, 18. I mean, the oldest guy was their second-round draft pick this past year, last year. That was definitely a Jed Hoyer trade. I wouldn't say that wouldn't say that Theo would have made that trade. In fact, I know Theo wouldn't have made that trade. I think if Jake Cronenworth was in it, would have made it 100%. But Cronenworth and Davies is who we should have got. Or Cron Cronenworth alone, for all I care. Should have been someone... I mean, when you trade an ace pitcher... Whether he's 34 or not, I mean, Scherzer is 35 and he's still at that peak in his career where he's just as good as anyone. Just because, I mean, age doesn't really 
matter now. Scherzer and New Darvish have shown that. I mean, New Darvish had arguably the best year of his career last year. So, pitched him good. Um, pitched him very good again this year. So, it sucks, but it's one of those things. Got to move on. Maybe one of those 17-year-olds will be really good in four years when he's in the majors, but we'll see. Here's the out of 2021 coming up here. And Isaiah Kinnerfalefa. Rangers. I actually have a signed jersey of him. I won it three years ago in a... A raffle that the Players Association did on their Instagram page. I won it from them. It's been hanging on my wall ever since. Jake Cronenworth, he's, he's had a pretty good season. Very, I mean, he plays all over the field. He catches, plays all over the infield. I think he's played a few games in the outfield. Here's a... Uh, Unleash coming up. Raphael Devers, that one's out of 999. To the Boston Red Sox. It is a gamble, totally. I mean, you got to have the right system to build your prospects. I mean, the Cubs, for example. I mean, uh, Theo Epstein drafted batters for in the first round for multiple years in a row just to build up that. I mean, build the, a World Series winning team, and that's what he did. And I mean, just now we're finally seeing a few guys who have came through as a pitcher. I mean, Elsley or Edward Elsley and um, I mean, Tommy Nance, I wouldn't say we developed him, we signed him, but he's been good. And then Justin Steele and uh, Keegan Thompson, they've been good. So for the first time in forever, it feels like we're actually seeing guys come up through our system getting developed so it's good to see but sucks when you have four guys three or four guys who um this is their last year under contract but it's how baseball works guys want to get paid feel like they're worth more can't pay everyone sadly unless you're the dodgers for whatever reason the cubs won't but I agree. I, I mean, his stuff, I mean, the main thing that he struggled with so far is getting deep into games, and he keeps his pitch count low. I mean, when he came out of games, if you look at, um, if you look at, like, where his pitch count's been, it's been relatively low on most of the times where he only goes, like, four or five innings, and it's just because he's got a, he has, like, a head, I don't remember what he calls it, he posts on Twitter a lot about it, um, he gets really bad migraines while he's pitching, um, mainly from, I think he's stated that it's from stress and during the game when there's guys on base, um, or when guys get on base or he's in a stressful situation, it gets to his head and um, not just mentally but physically too, so he causes strain to himself and then he can't pitch, but it's good to see him... Uh, Good to see him go deep into through the seventh last night. I believe he went through the seventh. I mean, he got the loss, but he pitched great. Can't complain for a guy who's just up and coming and trying to develop an arm. It's nice to see. Yeah, exactly. Nolan Arnato uh, with the Rockies there unleashed. Alec Baum, purple rated rookie. Soroka trending. Romuto. Pete Alonso unleashed. I think Nico's going to be good, too. Fun player to watch, I mean, in the in the field and at the plate. 
Puts a lot of balls in play. Doesn't strike out a lot. Not a power guy, but... Hits it all over the field. So... Could see him as a leadoff guy in the next couple of years. Once... Once some of the guys disappear from our roster and more are added in, I could see him as a leadoff guy. I'm surprised David Ross hasn't tried it yet. I mean, he's tried just about everything else. Yeah, dear Molina stars there. Oh, and our Nato base. about that Logan Allen base auto that is he is with the Indians Cleveland Indians bump the Loriano relic Randy Rosarena dominators Nick Madrigal purple a Del rated rookie and Pico de Gallo. I assume it's Joey Gallo. Alright, two blasters left here. Just open them both. Last two blasters here. Good luck. We'll recap at the end, and then we got uh, Bowman, uh, one Bowman Javi and one Bowman Jumbo mixer break after this. Divisional. These guys are just ending on eBay. Check real quick. <laughs> Looks like they've uh let's see. Looks like they've actually already ended. So we got that up at 11.50, might be a little late to that one. Alright, about to seven and eight here. Good luck. Eloy Jimenez.
Stevenson purple. Kwon Han Kim. Kwon Hyun Kim. I'm not sure if one of those is silent or not. Ortiz, Dominators, Trout. Judge live stream. Dominic Smith purple. All right, the rest of the box seven here. Uh, Sammy Sosa stars like Trout Purple Foil Another auto, Pablo Lopez. I believe it's Marlins. Yep, Miami Marlins. Nice hit. He started the season well. I'm not sure how he's done from there, but bump the Darvish relic. Not too bad. Three autos and eight boxes or seven boxes so far. Trout purple foil. Merrifield, Luke Voigt, and Relic. There you go. There's a Nico for you. Look at that, Adam. Doesn't have a base card, but it's got a Relic. Two for you. Add that to your Nico PC if I can get a top loader out. Oh. Nice hit, man. Looks like. Nope. Thought it was a little dirt, but. This card. Areas and Steve Garvey. Ian Anderson. Pico de Gallo, Statue of Liberty. Must be when you mention a player's name, team's name, you get them. I got the Cub Hot Hands. Max Meyer, Bartolo Colon, Purple Foil. Final little bit here. Brian Hayes, rated rookie. Javi Baez, purple. Mount Castle. Garrett Cole, Alex Rodriguez, Castillo Stars. Fergie Jenkins. Christian Yelich. That'll end it. Not too bad. Three autos and eight boxes. Nice, some nice uh, parallels and obviously all the base and inserts. Not too bad. Alright, let's do a recap here. So, some stuff sleeved up. 
Trout Purple Foil, Madrigal Foil, Bomb Foil, Devers out of uh, 999, uh, Falefa out of 2021, Grisham Statue of Liberty, Trout Livestream, Tatis Purple, Soto Highlights, Robert Livestream, and Bichette Stars. Three relics here. Nico Horner, Cubs, Hugh Darvish, Cubs, and Ramon Laureano, Athletics. Showcase, Logan Allen, autograph to the Indians. Pablo Lopez, autograph, going to the Marlins. Trevor Story, number 3 of 15 to the Rockies. Alex Kirloff, rated rookie out of 2021. Sorry, I was a little low there. Twins on that one. And your Hulk smash out of the break, Sixto Sanchez, signature series autograph. Again to the Miami Marlins. Appreciate everyone hanging out as always. Um, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your night. If you're hanging out waiting for Bowman, I will be back in uh, seven minutes. And we'll see you guys then.